Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our preview of the Evolve closed beta that happened in January of this year. If you have missed any of the parts so far, do not fear, as there is a playlist on our main YouTube channel, or there will be annotations at the end of this video. We've covered the tutorial, we've also covered what it's like to be a monster. But now, it's time to pick up our guns and hunt them down. How does it feel to be a hunter in Evolve? So in Evolve, when you're not playing as a monster, you're playing as one of the hunters teaming up to take that big boy down. You can pick from one of four different classes, the Assault class, Support class, Medic class and Trapper class, all with different characters who have their own different quirks and their own different abilities when you're able to go into these types of situations against big monsters. So, there's a lot of variation to play with here. Now, when I was mainly playing through the beta, I was playing mostly as Hank, the support, and as Markov of the Assault class. I also dabbled in the Medic class a little bit, but I also discovered that I wasn't too good as a trapper, so I stayed as far away from that class as possible. Not to say that it's bad, because the trapper has more unique skills set to just keeping the monster on lockdown and in a specific area, rather than just straight up damage, straight up supporting, or straight up healing. So of course, in comparison to the monster, you also have your own methods of moving around. This case you have your jetpacks! And might I say, I'm a huge fan of jetpacks in video games and these jetpacks are really good. So you'll be able to scale really high locations really fast with these packs as well as also being able to calmly let yourself down from very high up locations. As well as this, you can also use small bursts from your jetpack to give you a slight boost when moving forward or dodges back, left and right. These can be extremely handy when you're trying to maneuver around a monster or just trying to get closer to where the action is. So as you're playing as the hunters you have three different weapons for either aggressive, defensive or passive and you also have a fourth ability which is unique to that specific class. So for example with Markov your fourth ability is going to be able to put a mega shield on you that is going to deny any and all damage for a short period of time which effectively is fantastic for when you're taking the aggro as you can activate this the monster may not even notice that you have your super shield on and you're just taking all the aggro whilst your teammates are just working that guy down. Hank, for example, has the ability to make everyone stealthed for a short period of time. And this is actually really handy because the stealth mechanic when you're a hunter completely cloaks you. And as it completely cloaks you up, it also gives you slightly increased movement speed for a short period of time. And this can help you get into a fight a little bit easier as well as create a sneak attack for the monster that you're hunting. Or you can even use it as a getaway tactic to make the monster instantly think where did it go? Huh? Reggie? And then you have other abilities such as the medic has the capabilities of healing everyone in a mass radius. It's really good. These abilities and the weapon loadouts make each and every character feel unique in their own way. Of course I've only really played mostly as Markov and Hank but every single character because I've seen other people play as the others and I have had a few people when I've gone around their place allow me to play as some of the higher leveled up characters they feel completely unique, not just with what weapon loadouts they have, but also with their characters. And that's what I want to come on to next, the character designs. The characters are designed really well. My biggest worry for the game upon seeing it was how they're really going to make character design out of this, since it's the whole emphasis on either a single player or multiplayer setting of 4 versus 1 go nuts. But you know what, if anyone can make characters in a 4v1 setting work really well, it has to be the guys at 2k. Because each and every one of these characters are great in their own way and share banter in their own unique way as well. I've seen characters talk about specific instances as to how they managed to join the team, why they're going after these beasties as to whether it's because of the money, the fame, or whether they want to get revenge because the monster ruined something in their lives. It's really deep, 
really interesting and really cool. From initially playing the game and thinking that I wasn't going to get attached to these characters, luckily I have grown attached to these guys and they're all created really well. Now similar to the monster gameplay, again I don't really have many complaints when it comes to playing as the hunters, apart from one thing and it's not even an issue that I have with the game or the gameplay. It's more of an issue on reliance, and allow me to explain what I mean here. When I say reliance, I mean the reliance on your fellow teammates. Because it's not one versus the four in this case, and it's the four versus the one, you are going to be relying on your team heavily to take this beastie out. Kind of think of it as a big group hunt in Monster Hunter for example. You all need to work together to get the big game prize down. But in the case of Evolve, it is very much more so. Simply because if you decide to be the one man army running and gunning straight for a monster trying to take it on solo, chances are you're gonna die. Because that's what the monster loves to do. Pinpointing, taking out specific enemies at specific times and taking them out of the equation because that's easy and the best way to take out the hunters. In all the games that I played during the beta as a hunter, I couldn't help but feel as if a majority of times I was teamed up with team members that were either not communicating or they just weren't understanding that this isn't a run and gun situation. It's very much more about tactics and working together as a team in order to claim the big prize. So I'm going to warn you now, if you're going to jump into this game thinking that any and all of the matchmaking is going to give you an ace team that's constantly going to be communicating with one another whether it's through text or whether it's through voice chat. Don't get your hopes up because 9 times out of a 10 you're probably going to be on a team with people where no one talks, everyone just expects you to do what needs to be done. But as I said, that's not really a game problem, that's more of a problem that I have when it comes to matchmaking, but you could say that about any game out there that is similar. You could say about Monster Hunter, Warframe, the list is endless. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts on the Hunter gameplay for Evolve. If you're interested in finding out any more about my thoughts on Evolve, then be sure to click on the annotations on screen now that will take you to one of the other parts of our preview. Or if you're watching this on videogamesuncovered.com in the middle of the, our preview article, don't worry all the videos are going to be in the article for you to watch. Just spread throughout it. Simple as. So until next time ladies and gentlemen, where I'm going to be taking another look at something even deeper in the world of Evolve, I am Don the Expert of Coles from videogamesuncovered.com and I will be seeing you on the other side.